Hey everybody, it's me again, Chris Reiniak. Uh, welcome back to Scribble with Chris Reiniak. It is Monday. Um, hopefully my mic is on. I think my mic is on. I think. Yeah, my mic is on. Awesome. Welcome everybody. Uh, we have a new mod today. Everybody get up for Hannah. Yeah. Amanda is actually in the room here. She's over there. Hi. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna draw with the Copic, 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 Copic markers today. Um, so I posted a drawing this morning, which I probably should have had with me. Um, hello Kirby, welcome to the Critter Crew. Uh, I posted a drawing this morning that was done in Copic marker, and I thought that it might be nice to do this, um, do this live. We're doing it live. Okay, uh, let's see. Hello, Kirby. Hello, Calamari. I'm glad you're getting the pencil soon. Hello, uh... <laughs> yeah, you should see the video in a second there, Teresa. Um, and hello to the entire Critter Crew. I just put in some new light bulbs, so if they get wiggy, um, don't worry, it'll be okay. Oh, here, yeah, I had to show off my shirt. There it is. Got the gamer shirt. If you guys go to, um... If you go to bindlewood.com, they're available there, men and women's shirts. I'm pretty happy with it. It's it's a little off register, but I think that's like impossible to avoid. Um, but uh, yeah, it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's you know I got the extra, I got the one size up, and it fits a little better. It's long, but um, I haven't washed it yet. But it's soft and nice, so there you go. Thank you so much for posting the link, Hannah. Uh, yeah, the Apple Mouse is confusing, isn't it? Um, so, uh, like I said, welcome. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, I'll get into uh, I'll get into what we did this weekend in a moment. But uh, so I sort of figured that uh, I'm gonna kind of start using the stream to kind of experiment with the things that I I want to try out so um i've had these markers forever and i haven't really done anything with them other than color in the coloring book so uh which is fun which is which is fun but uh you know i tried it last night and it worked out really well and i haven't inked like actually inked with ink in forever so uh so you guys get to watch me fumble through and screw up permanently live so there we go there we go um let's see uh, okay, so I am gonna, okay, so what I have to do first is, uh, it's Jess! Welcome, Jess! Hi, Hope Jess. everything is well in your world. <laughs> um, so what I gotta do first is I gotta do the drawing in pencil first, and then I have to ink it, and then I'm gonna do it with the markers. And yes, these, these Copic markers, I'm sure everybody's heard of, um, they're alcohol-based and they're expensive, but I'm getting them with one, with a coupon every time, so makes it a lot cheaper um but they come in like every color and i'm only going to be using some of the colors that i got and the funny thing is i need to use red and that was the one color that i picked up today and said i'll never use red and amanda said i'll never use red because we share them so uh so yeah so i'm going to be using a combination of the markers with colored pencil to get red uh i could just use watercolor but i don't want to mess with that so uh the color pencil will be faster so okay let me just get right into it here can you watercolor over copic marker uh that i i think you can because it's alcohol based okay so i, I don't know copic yeah. copic yeah um calamari is asking how you become a mod well they have been uh the mods have been here since the beginning so um and, and Hannah has basically taught me everything I know about Twitch. So, uh, so yeah, just hang out for a while. You might, you might have to fill in someday. I don't know, but, uh, it was awesome. Thank you so much for, fu for filling in. Uh, Amanda is, is working and, Sorry. uh, uh <laughs> Kesho is going to be late. She's eating spaghetti, which I'm always okay with. Spaghetti. So, Hey, Dakaria 21. Oh yeah. So I still have the eye drama happening. Um, I'm about 
I don't know, I'm about 85% in this eye, but I have some like cloudy spots, so it's kind of hard to see. So if I don't catch you in the chat, it's because I'm having a hard time seeing it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so if I, like I stumble a little bit, it's because my eyes give me problems. So, um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Oh, also I have a cold that Amanda gave to me. That your daughter gave to me. That my son gave to my daughter. So, so it's the it's circle, the circle of, of life. Of sickness. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna be call I'm gonna be like clearing my throat a lot. I'm sorry if it's obnoxious. We know we all got the same thing because it's it's always the same cold. Yeah. It's like it starts with like kind of congestion and then you get a sore throat and then you just cough forever. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Amanda may have to excuse herself a couple times yeah. because she's got this cough that when she starts she can't stop. So it's okay though. It's not Did her you fault. You're coughing and just see me running out of yeah. the room. Let's see who's there. Is that Brinley? Is that you or is that actually is that actually my mom? <laughs> One or the other. I thought I the circle of phlegm. phlegm. That's great. The circle of germs. So I'm doing a guy in a costume today. Surprise, surprise. And again, I'm having I'm having a bit of a hard time seeing. So, bear with me. It's, it's Brinley. Brinley. Everybody, Brinley. everybody, say hello to Brinley. Brinley is my niece. As you probably, if you watched before, you you've seen this before. It's awesome that you're here, Brinley. Hello. You're always always welcome here. Brinley, you gotta try out these markers sometime. They are super, super great. The only thing I don't like about them is how expensive. Yeah, they're, they're expensive, they're but like you eight dollars a marker. But you know what? There, we noticed that there were some other brands that were out that I haven't tried out yet, and I'm sure somebody on YouTube has like put out some uh, put out some videos about um, you know trying out the other brands and stuff. I think Copic actually has like a starter brand. I think they're called Chow. And oh really? Like skinnier, and I think they have a little bit less ink in them, but they're like way, way less expensive. So, it, but I think it's the same ink. So, like, if you want to get started and try it, look those up. There, hot tip from Amanda. Yeah. Bam. Hot tips. I watched. Boom. Some, I watched some tutorials on YouTube. So there you oh, go. that's right. She's lurking in the background. I thought maybe she was gonna oh, show no, up. Sorry, I'm just it's hot. In I thought she was gonna show up. Now you got it. It's it's on. So everybody say hi, hi to Amanda. I'm here. Hi. I oh I'm a moose apparently. Oh hello, you know, beanie you're bat. Like, you're like an '80s music video. Oh yeah. <laughs> Need more lasers. Yeah. Yeah. So the camera is right here. You guys can kind of see it. Uh, I can't avoid it now because the way I have to show more more of the uh, the table, I have to put the camera right in my face. So. Oh yeah, YouTube is where I go when I'm like, how do I do this thing? Usually uh, someone on YouTube can show me how. I can't tell you what suit he he will be wearing. It will be revealed in due time. In due time. So I just, oh, Red Jaro Jam is here. Hello. Uh, oh yeah, Red Jar. I'm with Hannah. I like. I, I really like your monsters too. They thank you for posting them. Uh, you do really really awesome work. So there you go. Um, I was gonna talk about something and I forgot what it was. Oh, I ordered a fishing rod the other day. Nice. I finally pulled the trigger on a fishing rod. So I'm going to. Oh, geez, look at all the cupcakes. Thank you, Red Jaro oh Jam. Gosh. A chicken nugget suit would be amazing. You know what, Britt? You're kind of right, actually. It's it's funny. It's funny that she said that. Hey, it's Mary. Welcome, Mary. Oh, you know what, Ethan? You'll never be forgiven for being late. What the heck? What? I thought we were pals. Bye. 
Oh, thanks for resubscribing, Derek. Derek, we have some packages uh, going out to you tomorrow. I'm sorry that they were late. See, see, Brit, is it is it all making sense now? Boy, my computer is loud. It's, it's what is happening? Hard. If there's an explosion, it's just my computer. Oh boy, there's a lot of text oh, there. Oh yeah, the Spectrum Noir markers too. Like they're kind of a comparable. They're kind of like Kogut markers, but it's a different brand. Okay, is that what Calamari was saying? Yeah, I don't know if you can interchange them. Like, I don't know if you can use Spectrum and Copic at the same time, but some people actually like the, the less expensive ones better. Yeah, Calamari, please forgive me. I can only read small chunks of text because it shows up as super long lines on my iPad. So, and it like totally stops my brain. So, little chunks. Little chunks. Little chunks. I'm DJ an artist. Little chunks. DJ Little Chunks. I'm an artist after all. Give me a break. Math for I'm not a professional reader. That's what I took in college. Math for liberal arts. Oh, dear. I took practical math. See, that's better. Actually. Which was awesome because I learned how to like balance a checkbook and do my taxes and stuff. Yeah, that's really good. And then I started a business and then it was like, now I don't know how to do my taxes. Little chunk. Little chuck. Little chunk. Little, little cluck. Little cluck. Little clucks. DJ Nugs. Chick Nug. MC Szechuan Sauce. <laughs> Special guest sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Checkbook, do those even exist anymore? You, they do, I have I have several say, of them. How many do we have in I this have, room? I have three, I have three checkbooks. I also have three checkbooks. So. And for all different accounts. Home business. The, the, uh, the offshore account. Yeah, right. My Bitcoin checkbook. Right. And McGiblets. McGiblets. I like giblets better. Giblets. See, I wasn't just I wasn't just showing my age by saying I, I balanced my checkbook. I think for people that run businesses, like that's kind of more. Yeah. You do that more than the average person. If it were just me, I'd probably only use checks to pay bills sometimes. Yeah, I, I write things down in a ledger, like somebody from the 40s. Oh, yeah, I've used praying watercolors before. Praying always reminds me of praying. of the uh, the villain from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, you mean Krang? Krang. It's hype. You know, I can tell how old you are, Calamari, because you sound like my kids, <laughs> who who got angry at me for using their slang words, and yeah, then okay. and then they stopped using them. <laughs> yeah, but also you have to understand that by the time you know what their slang words are, they are no longer yeah. being used by them. <laughs> you are already That's true. past the expiration date of that vernacular. Uh, I would say you're between thirteen. And 16. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, like oh Red Zero Jam dropped 100 cupcake. Oh Boom! Here they come. <laughs> um, nom, oh nom, 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 nom. Does that guy have a name? I just call him Honey Bear. Whoa! He's Honey Bear. Yeah, they, they went everywhere. <laughs> yeah, see, I know what the kids are talking like these days. Oh, yuck. Uh, 15. Good guess. See? See? And I also met you in person, so I remember. <laughs> That's why I cheated. Oh, Derek's talking about eating sea snails. Sea snails? He says they're at, so surprisingly on the sweet side. Sea snails are on the sweet side. Weird. I No, wait. That's part of land snails, right? Uh, I don't know, actually. I'd be lying if I said I knew. Anybody know that? Whoa. Did that? What? He just dropped a thousand in there. Holy cow! I've never seen one of those. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. That was awesome. I had no idea those even existed. Me neither. He's been farming. He's been farming bits. That little cave looks like a zombie. He's crazy. He missed it. 
Boom. He's living up to his all his booms. See, I decided to draw a chicken suit today. I'm having a heck of a time with this stupid area. So, yeah, you guys get to watch me ink for real on camera tonight. So, did I name the bit bear yet? No, he's a, a so okay. So he's a a sticker that I have, but he's normally holding up a honey, a honey bear. Yeah, I just call him honey he's bear. eating it, so I always just call him honey bear. But um, I don't know. Maybe we can come up with a name for him. That's some good farming, right? Yeah, there, that is man. some good farming. Can you do like uh like side quests to do that, to like gain? It's grinding. It's yeah, RPG just grind. grinding. You just have to beat like low level uh enemies. Hannah's suggesting Kevin. Kevin the bear. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> oh, Calamari, have you never had a honey bear? A honey bear is a little plastic bear that honey comes in. I have that sticker. Hold on a second. Hold on, guys. I'll show you. I never buy them, but they still sell those, right? The, the uh, honey and the bear? Oh, yeah, they totally do. I have that sticker somewhere. Here, this will be a good show and tell moment. Oh my gosh. Need some help? I just walked away, I'm sorry guys. He's in here somewhere. He's in this pile somewhere. Um Watch it be the only one that's not in here. Oh, here he is. Uh, Valency's here. Oh, hello, Valency. I didn't even see you sneak in here. Welcome, Valency. Everybody say hello to Valency, a fantastic artist. <laughs> and, and very, very friendly lady. With the brightest smile I have ever seen, Valency. All right. I'm a little jealous because my teeth are not that, not that vibrant. This is a honey bear, this guy right here. So, he's but he's eating it. So you can see, look, there's his brother Kevin. We're just gonna stick with Kevin. How about that? There he is. There we go. Um, so, uh, is Chloe awake? I don't know, Brinley. Probably she should be awake. She's over at her mom's. So, uh, so here's um, all the stickers that you guys have probably seen before. Since I have them out, there they are. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. These are older ones, older one, older one. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay. Now that we've seen all those, I'm going to get back to work. Um, let's see. Can somebody post a link to Valency's Instagram, please? Yes, doing it. Amanda is on that one. Yeah, if you guys don't follow or know Valency uh, and Valency's work, you should definitely be following her. She's probably making 500,000 pieces for a show right now. <laughs> I've never seen anybody make that much work. It's really, really impressive. Let's see. <laughs> oh, yo, Steve is in the Steve's in the ch in the chat. Um, so we have uh, we have a bit of an issue in the web store right now. It's that um, when you go to look at the shirts, these shirts in the web store. Um, when you click on the color, it doesn't update the picture. And we found out that, or we, not we, Steve, found out that um, it's because we need to update our theme. Um, and basically we need to like can the whole site for a minute. And Steve, oh, awesome. Thank you so much, George. I'm looking at all them cupcakes. Oh, my God. Uh, oh and here comes the 100 one. Taking up the rear, here it comes. Oh. I thought it would bounce them all out of there. Um, so, uh, this Steve might break the site for a minute. So, he might break the web store. <laughs> so, let's see. Is this still possible? The old stickers, um, you can buy whatever is available on the store right now. It should be most of them, right? It should be most of them. I think the first, I think the first set is no longer available. I think. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that last with that last cupcake. <laughs> Guys, tonight we stopped at 
Trader Joe's, or not Trader Joe's, Ikea on the way back from, I saw I was reading Trader Joe's. We stopped at Ikea on the way home from Pittsburgh, and they sell cans of cider apple. It's just apple cider. It's like, it's carbonated apple cider. It's amazing. So I need to stop by, by there. Oh, look, it even has the Ikea logo on it. Um, I'm not sponsored by Ikea, but I'd like to be. So, oh, here comes more cupcakes. Awesome, it's a huge party. Um, oh, James is here. Welcome, Blah Mamus. Man, everyone's Everybody's here. in here tonight. We got over 40. Um, Just like you. Yay, I'm over 40. Oh, I'm exactly 41. So, uh, if you're near an Ikea and you like apples. It's really good. And you like soda, go get some of their apple soda because it's amazing. In their cafe, they also have something called Nordic fruit water <laughs> in pear, and it's like light and sparkling and not too sweet, and I love it, and I wanted to buy five gallons of it. Oh, in European IKEAs, you can get alcoholic ciders. What? Oh, Everything's can, better in Europe. Can somebody post uh, a link to uh, Blah Mamus's in Instagram uh, also? Uh, he's been doing some really, really super cute stuff for Halloween. Um, and you guys should check it out. And I wish that he would design the stuff, the, the Halloween decorations for Target, because I'd buy those instead of what they had. Uh, I've been on a search for Halloween decorations, and I am just going to probably make them myself, because, uh, although I did find some awesome vintage Festoon. festooning, I believe it's called. Like Festooning. It was on Walmart.com that I'm gonna buy it from. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. They're making they're making glass toys, Ethan. IKEA is making toys with with uh, Joe Ledbetter and uh, Archive and I forget, uh, Nathan uh, Eur Eurivicus. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. I can never say. This we thing. have 43 people in the chat. Is that a record? Oh, FZQ779 says 44. I have my son with me. Well, thank awesome. you. Well, yeah, we tipped it over. Now we actually have 44. Woo. Awesome. Um, set a new standard. Po over 40. That's awesome. Well, welcome to everybody who is new here. Uh, everybody say welcome to all the new people. Um, and, oh, Brinley got a pet mouse. Oh, you know what? Chloe showed me a picture of your mouse. Does uh, it have a name? Somebody else just started following. Thank you, whoever that was. I didn't see. Sorry, my my eyeball. I got the I got the eye drama. Um, oh man, more cupcakes! Oh, Red Jar Jam cupcakes. is just dumping them all. It's like Cor Coparel Angel or something like that. Sorry about that. If I if I totally butchered that. Um, so last week we had an early stream on Wednesday because Amanda and I took. Thursday off to go hiking and then we stayed at a bed and breakfast that was a it was a log cabin made out of two log cabins one from the 1700s and one from the 1800s and they combined them to make this big two-story home and it was really cool yeah it's super cool um and oh oreo is the cat is the mouse's name it's a very good uh name. But we went to this. We went to this state park to go hiking, and all Amanda knew of it was that the trails were often overgrown. So we looked at a trail map. Well, we finally found a trail map. Because I've been there once. Yeah, we downloaded a PDF, Long time and ago. we were looking at a little tiny picture on our phones. And uh, and to be fair, she looked at the map, and then put the map away, and then said, "It's this way." And then we started going that way. And the trail was very treacherous. It was along a creek, and and it was overgrown with with wood nettles, which are I'll Horrible. get it. I'll get into those in a second. But um, uh, so yeah, so we're walking on this trail, and it's so overgrown, it's so treacherous, and so, we got about maybe a half a mile in or so, and we're like, I don't think this is a trail because we lost the trail completely. And then we started coming back, and we got back to the like, trailhead, and we realized that it wasn't a trail at all. <laughs> so we went just the complete wrong way. To be fair, that map was really confusing. It was really confusing, but it was like, 
that was like some real hiking. So okay, let's see. It's can you can you tell me what that that uh, username is? Copar. Co read that. <laughs> Chris can't read stuff. Uh, well, thing is, it could be any number of different words it's true. put together. Well, I appreciate that you've been following me for so long. I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name. <laughs> um, but it's awesome to have you here. Let's see. This question is for chat and you and Amanda. What should I be for Halloween? Oh, oh man. man. That's a hard that's a hard question to answer. Um What was the name what was the name of the character on Pete and Pete that uh wore the pumpkin on his head? Jeez, I don't know. There's no way Kevin Murray is he's not old enough. But it's such a good costume, it's just a pumpkin on your head. <laughs> he's the wrong age for that. He can't possibly remember that. Oh, it's Gaelic. Kopar. Oh, okay. Okay. A bunny. Friendly says a bunny. A bunny's a good costume. Have you have you narrowed it down to any choices? Don't worry. Like is there are there any like is there a list of like, well, I've been thinking of these ones? A taco. A hamburger. Because yeah, literally that's billions of possibilities. I don't know what the name of that character is. He's on. He was on Adventures of Pete and Pete. Like, do you have a favorite character from a show or a story? That's always a good place to start. Oh, maybe you could go as as a. Uh, you could go as Greg from uh, from Over the Garden Wall. With a teapot on your head, with a frog in it. Was that that was Greg? That wasn't. Work. Yeah, it wasn't work. Although work's a good costume too. It is. All right, I'm about to the point where I'm going to start actually inking this. So I did a test, and I put it away, I think. Oh, here it is. I did a test with the Copic markers, and uh, we have 48 people in That's the chat. That's awesome. Um, markers for the win. And it looks like it, it, the chat hung up for a minute. Hopefully it's still working. I think uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. So uh, I did I did a test with all these different black markers to see what the um, oh yeah we got a call out for fifty everybody call your friends get your dog to log in tell your mom call up your mom right now you haven't talked to her in long enough anyway so call your mom and tell her to log in we got to get to fifty <laughs> we got to forty last time so um, oh awesome thank you Red Jaro Jam there's another bunch of bits so. Uh, so anyway, I tested all these black markers to see what the Copic marker would do to them. And you can kind of see how this one got really blown out. And then, like, this one, the Sharpie got isn't great either. So, oh, it's True North Games. Welcome Hi, back. Um, and uh, this one was okay, but the, the, the Faber-Castell Pit and the Micron were the best. The Micron, I think I liked a little more just because it was a little thicker. So, um, so I'm going to do... Uh, this with a Micron 08 um, and it's like archival uh, permanent black ink so um, let's see let's get into this so everybody can see it's a chicken right right huh? chicken so I'm using an I'm using an 8 or is it a point 0.8 it's an 8 uh, which is a pretty thick pen um, Pardon me if my head gets in the way. It's huge and I can't control it. And I have to draw some circles, but and I want to get these as, as perfect as I can. <laughs> That's awesome. Everybody walks around doing lumpy spray, space Ricky. princess. Quit looking at my lumps, Ricky. I have to read you something that Hannah said. She said, I was lumpy space princess for Halloween before and everyone thought I was a great. <laughs> Aww. Well... I mean, Lumpy Space Princess does look like a bunch of grapes. <laughs> I wouldn't say a grape. The thing is but that's that, that's sad and funny at the same about time. characters like that is you can literally kind of do them <sighs> any way as long as they have all the required iconography of the character. Oh no, Han uh, CMH can't get the, v the video to stream. Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. Th thanks for coming in anyway. Sorry about that. My costume last year was we had a bear costume that we borrowed from your mother. 
and I had a giant skull, foam skull that I wore over top of it while wearing a t-shirt over the bear costume with a skeleton on it. It was the most random It was thing. super random and weird, so. But it was fun. We all walked around in costume. You totally could, Calamari. The great thing is he's only got like 9,000 to choose from. What's that? One of your monsters. Oh, yeah. You know, you could be a monster inside another costume. Kind of like you were for Halloween last year? Yeah. Did you just find a lot of stuff and want to wear all of it at once? Is that? I was just, yeah, well, I, I thought the bear costume would feel bigger, but it didn't. It just looked like a fur, it looked like a fursuit, but not a good one. Not a good one. Yeah. The saddest furry. Yeah. Like, no effort furry. Yeah, budget furry. Budget furry. Oh, so, okay, to continue with our with our, our hiking last week, about halfway down the, the trail, the ill-fated trail we weren't supposed to be on, I stopped and just gasped audibly. I just went... <gasps> And Amanda, I turned around and Amanda's eyes were huge and she was doing the exact same thing because on a tree right next to us, and if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this, was, was this giant caterpillar. And that's, that's a man, that's my hand next to it. So you can see how big my hand is. Um, it was the size of a hot dog. It was like five and a half. Long. And then, like, huge. like, like, six inches away was another one. So, oh, welcome, Allie. Sorry you're having a rough day, but it's a party here, so hopefully you're doing better. We're at 49, guys. We gotta get Woo! one more. One more. One more. Anyway, so that that caterpillar was called is called a hickory horned devil. I'm gonna find a better picture yeah. and link people to it so they can see how crazy these guys are. Yeah, they're nuts. But I've never seen. I've seen a lot of critters, and I go looking for them, and uh, I've never seen anything like that in my life. So I've never seen a caterpillar that big. So, guys, we oh we went back down to 47. Not that I'm looking at the numbers. I'm just happy we're like we're uh, above 40. Although if it was more than this, I don't know if I'd be able to really pay attention. <laughs> you see what Steve said? Uh oh. Steve kind of broke the store. I'm gonna go check. That as long out. as it works. <laughs> so does it does it work? See, you know everybody's gonna go look it now. It's fine. Is it's it just? just it's, it's just bare bones. It's efficient. But does but does the does the t shirt update? That's what I want to know. It's got a certain minimalist efficiency. It sure does. Oh, does it? The yeah, colors update. Works, Sweet. Yeah. So that was the problem. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we'll get it looking better. It's fine right now, Steve. It's totally fine. No worries. Oh, it's called The Adventures of Pete and Pete. I can't remember what what episode it was though. Does anybody know that that villain on the Adventures of Pete and Pete? I I I'm being a bad fan here. Oh, that's awesome. So so everybody go look at the store, bindlewood.com right now, and look at how the t shirts update colors when you <laughs> click on them. Alright, I just switched to a uh a micron uh two, which is much thinner, because I kinda want this line to be not as thick. There we go. I just switched to that, but now I'm going to switch back. Oh, thank you for linking that, Hannah. I think it was just Endless Mike with a pumpkin on his Endless head. Endless Mike, that's who it was. Yeah, he had a pumpkin on his head. It's just, it's a dumb costume. The whole show's kind of dumb and weird. The, but yeah, but Iggy it. Pop was, was her dad. Yeah, but Michael Stipe was in it, and... And the guy that guy who played arnie the strongest man in the world is on every show now he was on uh i'm gonna forget the name of it colony okay he's on some other new show Ooh, maybe we should offer sparkle pony magic shirts yeah i think so 
<laughs> we should add another uh, another t-shirt design. Uh oh, we're having video problems. Does is anybody else seeing uh, uh, having video problems? I Kesho's here, which means Kesho, Amanda, and Hannah all have swords. Now they have to fight. Yeah, we're to like the death. The tears. To the death. Well, I dubbed Hannah Dame Dame Hannah of Mayhem nice. earlier, so. Oh yeah, pit stain. Pit stain. That's who it was. That's another uh, another villain. Admittedly, I didn't watch that show a lot. I watched it when it was on. Yeah, I think I think I was pretty much the same. Okay, everybody says it's worse. Some people are having issues. Oh, Britt, you always have issues. <laughs> Calamari, I'm not sure how you would do when a Christmas Monsters is a costume. That might be a challenge. Impress me. I'm trying to figure out how you could do it. Because, like, I'm going to sneeze. I've but... seen costumes of your guys. Somebody did a really amazing costume. It's a little easier of, uh, when you guys are already made of fabric. Of the, of the maker. That thing was, was yeah. bonkers. But see, my guys are already made of cloth, which is what you make a costume out of. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the little pink creative is here. Welcome. Hi, little pink. Hello. 48 viewers. Yeah, I know. We were almost, we were at 49 a minute ago. We almost made it to 50. I think, I think tonight might be the night that we get over 50. You know what it is? I've been, I've been, uh. I've been posting on Facebook and on Instagram that I'm having a stream. So if you, that's how you found me tonight. Oh, we had 51! Oh my gosh, guys, it's a party! Yeah! I am so surprised. <laughs> if that's how you guys found me, if you found me on my social media and, and that's how you got here, um, just leave a little thing in the, in the chat. I just want to see uh, how you guys got here. Uh, everybody's doing great, little paint. Um, that's true. That is a perk of cosplaying. I don't know why I keep looking over there. Um, I think you should do Pizza Monster. That's what I think. Oh my gosh. No, <laughs> no, Steve. It's not that kind of party. Oh my gosh. Look at them all. Wow. Christopher says, found you on Twitter. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I can't delete Twitter now. Somebody's actually using it. Balancey saw it on Facebook. Thank you, Balancey. Oh, I have to welcome all my new my new people from the the rock group, not like <laughs> rock and roll group, but the people who like the folks who paint on rocks. Um, if any of you people are here, welcome. Every time you say things about yeah, the rock well, group. fifty four people. What is That's going on? Crazy. It's getting crazy in here. Oh no, you tossed all your bits. <laughs> I appreciate every single one of them. Thank you. It was I know. Super impressive. I know that you worked really hard to farm all those bits too. And uh, welcome to the new people that are here. If if obviously we got some new people, um, say hello in the chat if you if you're so inclined. A lot of friendly people in the chat will uh, will say hello right back. Um. Oh, thanks, Calcifer. Yeah, I really liked the pirate, pirate shark, too. He was fun. He was really grumpy. Oh, Hannah. Oh, man. Hannah's making Thank up you for so it. much, Hannah. Um, Hannah, can you explain how you get bits? Please. Hannah's an expert. Hannah is a Twitch expert. I admittedly haven't even tried to get any bits yet. I know that if... Um, I think there's a... There's some sort of thing happening right now with Twitch uh, for new subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber yet, um, there is some sort of... So, okay, it says uh, new subs are half off until October 2nd. So, um, so if you are thinking about subscribing, if you haven't subscribed with Prime already... You can uh, use, you can just subscribe for half price. So, uh, but it's only for new subs. So, if you're thinking about it, so there you go. September. Oh, that's great. 
better than ink timber. It is ink <laughs> ink timber. Draw timber. You make that a thing. Ink timber. No, it's it's um. I'm gonna draw nothing but chickens in October. It's gonna be Bah October. Oh man. <laughs> I don't believe it. Bah. Sorry. She has to live here, guys. I waited till she moved all her stuff in to start those kind of jokes. So far, I haven't screwed up. And you know what's the great thing about drawing with a pen with a pen over a pencil? I haven't broken a lead. So there you go. Get bits. Oh, so you can just watch ads to get bits. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you don't have to spend any money. You don't get money for an ad, but like over time, yeah, you can really accrue quite. A like few that's bits. how that's how Red Jar of Jam got all yeah. his through perseverance. Oh no! Is the is the watch option gone? That's weird. I don't know anything about anything. I'm yeah, staying. Be, I'm staying out this. of it. I'm just drawing a chicken over here, guys. Don't mind me. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, they're only available in the U.S. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's not my fault. Wait. Is this? <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. Denise, mother of chickens? Yes, Denise, mother of chickens. Thank you, sorry. I'm a bit slow. I'm going to blame it. I'm going to blame it on my eye. I'm going to blame it on the eye drama. <laughs> uh, you watch ads all day at work. Yes, I encourage everyone to do that at your place of business. You should watch ads all day. Except for Derek. Because I think he owns his place of business. But he can do what he wants. So yeah, do that. I'm trying to think what else is going on. What what else happened this weekend? Oh, we did a lot of... Uh, a lot of updates to the studio. Oh, thank you so much, Valency. Much appreciated. Um, we hung a lot of... Uh, a lot of shelves. We did have a lot of shelves. And uh, now we put all of the Thimble Stump Hollow toys are on one wall up here. So we crammed them all in one spot. Um, it's so much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the, the stickers that are the, the emotes, as it were, uh, you have to, there are different subscriber levels for those. So. Oh, and yeah, Kesha, my space is already full. And you know it's really funny? It won't even let me use my own emotes. Oh, no. That's hilarious. Oh, no, here they are. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Yeah, like I said, if you follow us on Instagram, you can see all the stuff that we did in the studio. Amanda did a bunch more stuff. Her, I had more stuff. Her side is very, very full. And now I'm feeling like I need to catch up. So, uh, there's something to be said about minimalism. Well, my, blo my wall is completely empty. It's like completely blank. And her wall is completely full. So it just feels a little, a little lopsided. So I gotta catch up. Oh, thanks, Beanie Bat. I was pretty proud of those. I made some shelves out of an old uh, explosives crate that I had. That actually, it was it was so broken it didn't even have a bottom, so it was completely useless. I wonder if it, it like, it exploded probably, out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got some, some uh, Uncle Steve <laughs> dropped in a bunch of robot bits. Thanks, Steve. Now, now, Steve, I can imagine, would be somebody that would be very efficient at bit farming. Steve's efficient at everything. Steve, how many windows, do you, how many tabs do you have open right now? Quick, count. 
I've never seen anybody with so many tabs open. Guys, we went back down to 48, but it's okay. It's okay. We had that glorious moment. Remember when we had over 50, 50 people in the chat? That was awesome. Robits. <laughs> Steve has 19 tabs open, everybody. <laughs> Good. All right, so I'm going to try to fade this, this black down into the bottom of his eye. Doing a little hatching. I counted yesterday. I had 28 separate eBay listing tabs open. Oh yesterday. my god. What were you looking at? Um, dollhouse stoves. Oh. Okay. Amanda's, Wait, a, Amanda's a, gearing up for something, guys. I'm a heavy researcher, so it's like every time there's an option for something, I have to open a new tab and read about it. Right. And you don't want to lose your page. Right. So just new tab it is. Can I tell you what the worst thing on the internet is right now? Pinterest. Because every time I look for something, it brings me to a stupid Pinterest page. And I don't have Pinterest on my phone. And I don't want to open Pinterest on my phone. I just want to look at the picture. Pinterest, even, get it together. But even if you have Pinterest, it still doesn't take you right to that thing you want to see. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Bits give me money. Actually, I think like each one is a is a penny. So the hundred ones are like a dollar. So it helps pay my bills and feed the kids. So you don't have to do any of that. It's it's I I just think it's fun. That's why I have it there. And when when I get like uh, brain fried and I can't think of anything to say, it's more fun to look at Kevin get fed. This is Kevin. We just named him tonight. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. All right, so I'm going to erase a little bit here. Oh yeah, I mean, Pinterest is good for when you want to go directly to Pinterest. Oh, I forgot something. Uh, when you want to go di directly to Pinterest and like make, make style boards and stuff, it's awesome. But when I want to just look at something, it's such a pain in my butt. I should have switched to the super, super small one for this. It's okay. So when, when Amanda and I were both in college, we had to use these pens called Rapidographs. And they were very much like these microns, but microns are disposable. And rapidographs are refillable, but they're so finicky and they break and ink goes everywhere. Um, and I wish I would have known about these. Well, they required me to use them. So did they require you to use them too? Rapidographs? Rapidographs. Okay. They were awful. So these things are awesome. I don't like everything that's happening in his eye here. Yes, it's Kevin Henborn. Yeah, rapidographs are the worst. I mean, I'm sure, like, at one time they were, like, the, the gold standard and they were amazing. And I'm sure everything that came before them were probably awful. To be fair, the kind of thicker ones, not the little scratchy hairline ones. Yeah, the ones that you could actually cut paper with. Yeah, the ones that were kind of like in the middle and bigger and they were like freshly inked up. When you were like on like vellum paper, like really thick vellum, it felt so nice. Oh, Spooky Jim Jams is now following. I love the word Jim Jam. That's an amazing name. No, I agree. I think, I think drawing on vellum at all is awesome. Yeah, so that felt good, but it really, it wasn't worth all the ink explosions everywhere. No. I ruined a couple of projects with rapidographs. But I, I used to use a, a ruling pen, too. I thought I had one up here, but I used to use a ruling I pen. And I, I'd fill it up with paint, actually, and I'd draw with that. Brown Noodler's ink. Huh, oh, with a fountain pen. That's cool. 
Let's see. Bye, Beanie Bat. Have a good night. Yeah, have a good night, Beanie Bat. Thanks for popping in. All right, so I'm just going to erase all the pencil line and hopefully not smear anything. All right, so now we got, now we can get into coloring here. Ta-da, all the lines are gone. So I think I'm gonna, because the chicken's gonna be kind of white, I think I'm going to make, um... oh, <laughs> this is a really nice chat. Kevin is kind of aqua. He's sort of in the middle. So I'm looking at it on my computer and he's green it more greenish blue and he's really pale on the uh, on the chat on the uh, stream so let's see uh, so I'm thinking that this guy is gonna be kind of aqua uh, and then the chicken will be like whites and stuff although hmm let me think about this for a minute here let me think Oh, it's fine, Pundawan. Never apologize. We're just happy that you're here. Um, I'm doing great. I hope you're. I hope you're well. I'm. So, I'm. I'm having a, a minor brain fart. I'm trying uh -oh. to. I'm trying to figure out if I should make his face sort of blue, bluish green. I mean, it would contrast. You're going to use yeah. like oranges and reds. So yeah, I was thinking like his his feet would be orange and his beak would be yellow. I'd go with the color wheel opposite yeah, of that. Yeah, agreed. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right into this. Oh, Pundawan is Miss Katie Girl. Oh, <laughs> welcome Miss Katie Girl. Welcome back. No wonder why I didn't notice you. Uh, okay, so this is this is G zero zero red jaro jam, not goo. Goo. <laughs> uh, my kids are in sixth. And 11th, Nola Boy. Nola Boy, I recognize that name. Thanks for following. I think I've seen you on Instagram, I think. That sounds right. I think. I think. Girl, bear with us. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Miss Katie Girl. Yeah, I figured I'd try something new. You know, it's funny because, you know, when I ink it, it's basically like when I use my darker pencil on, uh, on the regular drawing, the the pencil scribbles, um, and the the Copic markers kind of take the place of all the shading. So we'll see how this turns out. Like I said, I'm I'm pretty new to Copic markers still. They're really nice, and the thing I learned I'm learning about them is that if you go over a spot multiple times, it actually makes it darker. But it dries much lighter than it goes down. So, do my kids have social media? Uh, not really. <laughs> I think they're too young for it. Um, let's see. They are like they are like but uh, yeah, that's the thing. Um, the. Uh, the Copic markers, like I said, they're really expensive, and I wait till they go on sale, and I buy a couple of them, and I get one of them for like 40% off. And then Amanda comes with me, and she buys a couple of them and uses a coupon too. So oh, we're, we're slowly amassing them. We only have one. We have about 18 of them so far, and that's that's been over the past six months. So... So many markers. Yeah, I'm just like I'm I'm really protective of them because I'm afraid they're just gonna like run out. Like no, don't use them. Don't touch. Don't touch my Copic markers. Get away. All right, so this guy's kind of greenish, bluish. That's right, Steve. If Copic markers were Pokemon. <laughs> Steve would have all of them. Guys, this is Steve. Uh-oh. 
Fred Jar Jam got oh, no. got modded. What happened? Deleted link. Oh. Did I can't you, see did you try putting up a link? I don't know why that was. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can't see what it was supposed oh, to be. Oh, he said they're five bucks a piece. Refills are five bucks. Oh. Huh. That's where cool. uh where are where do you see those from? I'm saying the first ones you should get would be the primary colors, some specific gray tones, and then you can mix. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The only one I didn't buy was the one I needed. <laughs> today, specifically. Yeah, today. All right, so what I like to do, I kind of like to use these like watercolors. So I know this is going to be yellow, but I'm starting with like a really, really light cream color. Um, and then I'll put the darker. I'll, are you okay over there? Yeah, sorry. And then I'll put the darker yellow over top of it. I, I, <laughs> because I said, I'll never use red because I almost never put red in anything until today I decided I needed to draw a chicken and I needed red. And then I didn't buy the red, <laughs> the red, cause I'm a dummy. How do I like my eggs? Soft boiled. And like welcome, them. Alfrodos. You like them other ways too. I like them especially soft boiled. With toast. With toast and smoked salt. That's how I like them. Pepper? Uh, and pepper, a little bit of pepper. I have a P.O. box, but we're having a bit of an issue with it right now. Somebody sent something and it's floating around at the post office. I'm not really sure why. Uh, smoked salt. Yes. So if you don't know anything about smoked salt, for my vegetarian friends, uh, when I was a vegetarian, smoked salt saved my life. God said for me So too. if you put smoked salt on anything, it turns it into an amazing thing. So, uh, so they have hickory smoked salt, uh, mesquite smoked salt. It's amazing. So yes. Smoked salt. All right, what am I doing next? Orange legs. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with this cream color again. And then I'll make it orange. But where I'm going to run into a bit of an issue is his body because he's white. So we'll have to figure out how we're going to deal with that. I'll catch up on the chat in a second. That's okay. Oh, I'm sorry about your, so your sodium diet. I completely forgot. I'm being insensitive. Sorry, Brit. Well, when you when you're off of that, go for the smoke salt. Uh, the flicker link for all the monsters. I can find that. I can get it. Are you sure? Yeah, more about it. Okay, yeah, just go to the Scribbles album. <sighs> Yeti monster, Yeti monster, you've been here before, haven't you? Sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. If you haven't, welcome. If you have, welcome back. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna deal with this with the with this thing. So what I'm gonna do, I think I figured out how I wanted to do this earlier. So I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the comb pink first, and then I'm gonna go over it with orange, and then I'm gonna go over it with red colored pencil but not until the very end so it's not actually going to be pink it's just going to be pink for now because i don't have a red colored pencil because i'm a dummy so i'm going to leave a little bit of a highlight there and then i think let's see should we do the orange and the pink to make this happen yeah, it'll get it closer. Close-ish. Ha! <laughs> 
Nice, Steve. Can always count on Steve to bring it down to child level. <laughs> so like I said, this is sort of a weird color right now, but it, I'll fix it in, in, a, in a little bit. It'll, it'll, it'll get turned red at the end. Uh, okay, now I gotta figure out what color to make. What color is a chicken's eye? Isn't it usually yellow? I think they're different. Let's let's see what color chicken's so eyes are. For a leghorn chicken, which is kind of the yeah, like a leghorn. Yeah, it's like yellow. Yeah, it's like yellow and red. Yeah. So is it yellow on the outside? Looks like this is kind of a bold color all the way through. Like yeah. Turnt red. It'll get turnt red. Okay, so, well, but, the, you know, it's going to clash with the, with the beak a little bit. So I suppose it could be any color I want. Oh, gosh, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to see this brown. Okay. I'm going to make the center of it brown. Brown. And then I'm going to make the outside of it. Yellow. It does sound weird, but some chickens have really pretty eyes. They do. I don't think that sounds weird at all. Okay, now um, I'm going to do the body with gray. I'm going to do the the shading with with gray. And you guys, guess what? Calamari just finished his homework. <laughs> Woo! I love finishing my homework. I haven't done it yet. I'm doing it right now. Oh, that's good news, Brad. I'm glad that you can. Uh, I, I'm glad that you can celebrate Halloween. Does that mean that you can go to Decon? If not, I'm sorry if I'm being insensitive again. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, I missed something. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sophie said something. Oh, she says she's writing a lab for a chemistry class. Oh. Sorry, chemistry nice. instrumentation hey, class. Guys, we're back up to 54 viewers again. <laughs> nice. What is going on? All right, I'm going to do some shading here. Oh, so. No. What? Steve's singing the Alouette song. Alouette, 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 Alouette. Oh! Mm -hmm. Everybody welcome your drunk Uncle Steve to the chat. <laughs> hey, you kids know French. <laughs> <laughs> if everything about that song is it's about plucking a chicken and then you pluck the beak. <laughs> right. Metatron is now following. Thanks, Metatron. All right, I'm sorry if I'm being quiet here. I'm trying to concentrate. It is okay. You should concentrate. I'm concentrating on this here chicken. The nice thing about these Copic markers is you can take, like, gray tones and just put them right over things. And then it'll shade things that you've already done, but you won't lose the color. So I kind of learned that trick. Although, if you put too much down because it's alcohol, it'll kind of bleed out a little bit too much. But I've seen people really go to town. So, uh, yeah, the chat is super busy tonight. So, Hot marker action. Yeah, hot marker. Uh, I'm sorry, Britt. I just saw that about Decon. I'm really sorry. I was really hoping you can make it, but I'm sure we'll see you at five points next year. We are... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. I switched the color and everybody jumps in. Although I haven't, uh, admittedly, I haven't been really great about um, promoting it on social media because I was afraid that it w I was just getting obnoxious with all my, uh, you know, all my promoting. But I suppose it's my it's job, working. right? It's my job to be obnoxious about myself. Self-promotion is really weird. 
Because you have to, like, tell everybody how great you are. <laughs> well, I mean, it's either that or hire somebody to do it for you. That's true. <laughs> it's all the same. So, we were just at Target, and we noticed they were carrying this line of clothing in the in between the boys and girls section called, was it Moco Loco? Toka. Toka. Toka something. But it sounded like Toki Doki. But it was Toka something. And it looked like Toki Doki. And the weird thing is, like, I know that they worked with Toki Doki before. Not that Toki Doki, you know, is going to be hurt by this in any way, but it just seemed a little weird. I don't know if anybody else saw that. Chicken's tails. At least th these are foghorns, right? Leghorns. Leghorns. Foghorns. <laughs> you know, foghorn leghorn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tokaboka? Is that Toka what it Boca. is? Yeah. Yeah, it's... it's it, They're really cute, but I, I, I never heard of it before. Which, I'm usually pretty... I'm not that out of touch, usually. Um... See, I'm gonna give this guy uh, Gustavo Elias is now following. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna give him sort of a blue patch here for this extra color. Mm. All right, so now I want to kind of get a little bit darker in some of these shadows. What did Derek say? Derek says... Oh. Yeah. Thank you so much, Derek. You guys are all great. You know, it, I'm, I'm always surprised, like, when I look at the internet and I get mad because everybody's terrible, and then I come on here and you guys are always awesome. So, I appreciate that, you guys. It's actually helping my psyche. So, uh, you, guys, you guys deserve a, a round of applause for... <laughs> being wonderful people and always being wonderful to each other which is True. awesome so if somebody new pops in the chat you guys always welcome them and are always super awesome so i appreciate i super appreciate that so there chris got mushy for a second oh, i have feelings 55 jeez what? oh jay, jay warsaw is now falling thank you so much look at all the bats we're at 56 we're at 56 that's that's Almost to 60. Counts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're a coping strategy for the rest of the world. Whatever's happening out there is not happening in here, guys. <laughs> Steve, keep your pants on. 58. Okay, somebody tell two more people. <laughs> I guess I said I jabbed quick, my pants. Quick, quick. Are you okay? I'm good. <laughs> Amanda hurt herself over there for no, a second. I was looking at the thing and I went. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Stab. Uh, these are Copic markers. Uh, they're kind of expensive. Uh, they range between like five and seven or eight dollars, but you can get them on sale. Um, typically, like for like forty percent off, you can get coupons for most craft stores. Uh, they're alcohol based and they're super nice, and they come in every single color you could think of. But they're really like versatile, and you could do things like this. You can give them red cheeks right over top of the green, and it works out great. Um, I liked using the purple for his for the spots on top of this on top of this color, uh, just because you can kind of see it through the green. I don't know if it's probably just showing up as gray on the on the stream, but uh, when I post it on my Instagram tomorrow, which is right here, um, when I post it on my Instagram, you'll see the color a lot better. So I apologize that the the stream doesn't show the color as accurate as it could but um i suppose we're doing our best here considering that this is like free technology and i'm beaming it all over the world which is amazing so oh they're called uh copic c-o-p-i-c there we go c-o-p-i-c oh thank you brit <laughs> steve come on come on Steve scared everybody away with taking his pants off. Don't worry, when St Steve's friendly. He's just excitable. So, 
So I know I, for the new people, uh, I got this new shirt in the mail the other day. Uh, I just we just started carrying apparel on the web store on Bindlewood.com right here. Um, and apparently we just updated. <laughs> Steve just updated updated the store. Uh, Uncle Steve is 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 responsible for all of our fulfillment in our web store. So don't be scared away by him at all. He's uh like I said, he's friendly and uh, and he he gets our stuff to you guys. So everybody should appreciate an Uncle Steve and everybody should have an Uncle Steve. Okay. Let's see. So he needs some sort of like reflected light in his eyes. What do you think, Mandy? <laughs> Are you asking for color recommendations? Yeah. I mean, you usually go with, like, an opposite, so you do, like, orange or yellow. Yeah, I think it, what, there's a really nice purple, but that's on his face. And it shouldn't be blue, so it should be a warm color. And it shouldn't be pink. So, yeah, I'm thinking, like, maybe a yellow. Or, like, orange. I'm going to do, like, yellow and yellow orange. Yellow orange, like a tangerine. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Guys, the, the chat has been all over the place tonight. It's been almost a 60. It's been emotional. <laughs> See, well, that's good, Kirby. Everybody should have an Uncle Steve. Our Uncle Steve is actually the same age as me. And Uncle Steve is a yo-yo master of all things. That's not a joke. Steve can do things with yo-yos that I've only ever seen Steve do. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to make this red. So these are uh, Derwent colored pencils, and these are really awesome. I've used Prism colors before, um, but the Derwent ones do not get waxy and they don't get reflective, but you still have to worry about building them up too much. So uh, because I don't have a red, um, um, because I don't have a red, I'm going to use this over top of what I did here to make it more red. All right, so I'm just going to go right over top of all this. And I'm going to work kind of lightly first. Because, like I said, you can build this up too much, and then you won't be able to add any more color on top of it. No matter how hard you grind on top of it. So, see, it's already getting more red. It's getting a little darker, too, which is what I wanted. But next time I'm out, I'm totally going to buy a red Copic marker. Copic? Copic. Copic? What are we saying? Copic? I used to go Copic. I apologize if I'm not paying attention to the stream for a moment here. Can I do a meetup in Tennessee? Probably not. Our 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 dance card is full. We are um although at some point we were talking about doing some sort of like cross country tour. <laughs> which I still think is a fun idea. What oh. was the brand of your watercolors? Do you remember? Uh no. They're a Japanese brand. I can look it up. Somebody asking? Yes, do you know where they are? They are on top of the uh, rolling cart right there. Rolling cart? Oh, sorry, it's not a rolling cart. The one downstairs is a rolling cart. Yeah. <laughs> They're on top of the bookshelf right there on the, on the, oh, okay. on the green. Oh, okay. I was going to say, we don't have a rolling cart. We have a rolling cart downstairs. Hi, Slogan is now following. Thank you. Uh, What's going on? All right, so this is a uh, this is a a blender, a colorless blender, and I think it's just filled with alcohol. And what I'm going to try to do is is I'm gonna, I'm just going to try to soften this edge a little bit. It may or may not work, and I might hate it, but oh yeah, I don't like that at all. Goodbye. We're not using that anymore. I'm just gonna go right back over what I just did. Um, I didn't like how that turned out. That, 
That was the first time I ever tried using that thing. Uh, I'll get back to you on that one. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to get back to this this thing. Oh, Kuratake brand. Oh, anyway, oh, uh, speaking of Japanese things, uh, like I said, I bought a, a fishing rod. It is a... a uh, why am, why am I drawing a blank? It's a Tenkara a fly fishing rod, which means that it's a fixed line fishing rod, um, and there's no reel, and you just put a length of line onto the rod, and then you just cast to where cast your fly to where the fish are. And I've never fly fished before, and I'm only after things that are about this big. <laughs> so I can't wait to get it. Oh, nice. You're going to Emerald City, Valency. That's cool. I've heard good things about that one. Yeah, Hannah, it's, it's, uh, oh yeah, bye, Pundawan. Um, bye, Pundawan, is gay, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying out a new type of fishing. And, and things I don't I don't catch fish to eat them I just catch them to to bother them for a minute and then let them go because I really like looking at animals up close so I'm telling you you need one of those little viewing cases I looked at the one that they had for sale on that website it was way too small oh you didn't like it no I, I think I can find a better one so this guy is like super close to being finished man these these uh these Copic markers are great. They're not paying you at all. No, they're not paying. They're not paying me in product. Yeah, I just want to make them late for something, Steve. I use that reference all the time. <laughs> Rest in peace, Mitch Hedberg. Um, I think about Mitch Hedberg every time we have rice. <laughs> oh, because you eat it whenever you want to have a thousand of something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not quite ready to start trying to tie my own flies um, because I have a tendency to kind of go crazy on things once I start them. So I want to like ease into the sport. So I'm using like pre-tied flies and stuff like that. So guys, that is a done chicken. <laughs> well done. That is a well done chicken, and I don't know what else to do to them because I want them to stay white. Uh, cause he, that's what color this chicken is. And I'm afraid if I do too much stuff out here, it's going to get, uh, if it's, it's going to get too overdone, uh, overdone chicken. You don't so, want your chicken to get overdone. Uh, you don't have to be sorry that you're back, Calamari. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was an hour and 20 minutes, which, uh, is much, much faster than a normal, uh, scribble. And the reason is these uh these markers can really fill in a lot of area really quickly um so if if it's okay with you guys uh i wouldn't mind doing more copic marker um uh, live streams so i think if i make something that's a little more um complex it'll take a little longer um uh yeah, I think I'm going to go back to uh, pencil on Thursday. So um, on uh, on Thursdays I do kaiju drawings. So if you want to see some gnarly monsters, come back. Um, but I think... Oh, Easy Efro says I should do a Copic Actually, kaiju. You've got That'd some awesome... Pretty good. You've got some good earthy colors over yeah, there. Yeah, I got some greens and some browns. It could be pretty cool. So... Um, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about what I'm going to do on Thursday. So I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do multiple drawings. Um, but, uh, I had my first three hour streams this morning. Whoa. Yeah. Three oh, hours is like, I had like a two hour one. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty exhausting doing even an hour and a half sometimes. So today is like my, I get up at quarter to six to to take my son to school and uh and 
so now it's like what 10 10 o'clock so i'm always tired by the end of this so um thanks for popping in Teresa. uh awesome podcast this week i already listened um but uh yeah the two and a half hour watercolor was long but i'll be doing more watercolor too um but yeah this was fun i'm glad you guys like this so i will do more all uh, i'm gonna be trying all kinds of stuff so i have a lot of sculpting to do this week but i'm still not i'm still not sure to do all of it uh, how to do that on the stream yet um but thanks everybody for um uh passive pixie thanks thanks to the uh to the entire critter crew i will see you guys on the facebook fan page if anybody um if anybody want is interested in being on the facebook fan, uh, fan page or facebook group that uh hasn't isn't on there yet um send a uh send a whisper to kesho and kesho will uh invite you um so you just have to send her the email address that is attached to your uh, your Facebook username. So uh, yeah, send a whisper to Kesho. Thank you, uh, Alfredos. Good night, Shuby. And I'm gonna get out of here, and I will see you guys on Instagram tomorrow. And awesome, we got back up over 52 again. Awesome. So guys, this is going really well. I appreciate. Um, all of you for being here and uh next time uh i'll draw some more monsters all right guys uh have a good night and have a good week and we're gonna get out of here so i'll hang out in the chat for a minute all right bye guys bye, bye. bye critical